Hey everyone, I'm Sailor Drew, and today we're taking a look at the Midnight Escape event in Love Nikki, as well as various other things going on, so stick around for that. So as we jump into things, be sure to like the video, and let's try to reach 300 likes. See if we can do it. Alright, so taking a look at the event, we get a bit of deja vu, as is that? Why yes. Yes it is. It's the makeup that was used in the promotional images for the Wonder Museum and the Miracle Concert event, which I know confused a lot of us as to, like, where's the makeup? But we're finally getting it. And holy cow. Stripes. I need this shirt. One of my true weaknesses, besides shiny things, is striped shirts. And not just that, but black and white stripes specifically. 90% of my wardrobe in real life consists of striped things, which is why I typically make all of my avatars wear stripes. So yes, I need to get this shirt. Anywho, this type of event should seem similar to most players, new and old, as we've had an influx of similar ones here recently. There are five stages, two of which are quiz stages, while the other three are your typical dress-up stages. The quiz stages are relatively easy as even if you answer a question wrong, you don't get a free attempt taken away. So just try until you answer correctly. Now onto the dress-up stages. Stage 1 has us somewhere in the Apple Federation with the high-tech gleaming city. And apparently there's a bit of an energy about the place as a famous thief had made a public announcement about some great escapade he would be pulling off. Kimmy and Orlando are confident in his capture though, but we'll need to dress in some warm clothing if we're going to be traipsing around. And <laughs> Kimmy is barely <laughs> able to see over the fireplace, she's so short. But you know, she's repping those short girls. Uh, the attributes for this stage are warm. Simple, pure, lively, and mature with the winter tag. The scoring for this event is super gentle, so I skipped over a lot of accessory categories in an attempt to make cute outfits rather than the ever powerful dumpster fires that would uh, crush my opponents. Stages 2 and 3 are quizzes, so let's move on to stage 4. So it seems as though we've taken it upon ourselves to find the thief Curtis, but in our search we bump into another interesting character. It's the demon doctor from the Nightmare Clinic. We got this set in one of the first few events we had on our server, so it's actually kind of strange for me to see the man himself. Um, but the kind doctor seems to fixate on Nikki and casually mentions that he can take us to see the thief. And everyone's totally going for it. Stranger danger. But let's go ahead and put on our best we're on our way to sell our souls outfit. Super casual and breezy. Stage four's attributes are lively, simple, cute, pure, and cool. He says that he's a good citizen of Maryland, but I don't believe you. Thank goodness Orlando intervenes because the airheads were totally going to go with him. The mysterious doctor also boasts that while Curtis might have been caught, there's no lock that can hold him. So maybe Curtis sold his soul to the doctor to be the world's best thief. Hmm. But... Those comments incite even more distress. <laughs> uh, who the hell indeed, Orlando. But the demon doctor has no time for us mere mortals. He takes off into the night, but before we can question the perfect timing of the helicopter, Orlando learns that Agent Doris has actually run off with Curtis rather than turning him in. So it's shawarma time as there's nothing more to be done at this point. And I kind of ended up making a maid in like a Telenoeva or something, but it works. Stage 5's attributes are simple, lively, cute, sexy, and cool with the apron tag. And once again, I'm struck by how insanely tall Orlando is. 
he also apparently wasn't so immune to the demon doctor's charm after all. That's it for the stages, so let's go ahead and move on to the cost of the suits. The event is seven days long, and each of the five stages gives you three attempts daily. That means we get 105 free attempts for the entirety of the event, which equates to 525 secret hearts, the event currency. That is, provided you get five secret hearts from each pool, which I mean you should be able to swing it with no problems. If you don't have any items that I used in my examples, then be sure to use the attributes that I gave you or look up how to get the item in the wardrobe. Again, the scoring is super easy, so you should have no problems with replacing any of the items should you not have it. So 525 Secret Hearts doesn't sound like a lot, but that actually will get you pretty far in this event. Both the Crime Buster and Midnight Prisoner sets cost 645 Secret Hearts each. So if you spend all of your currency won from free attempts on the one suit and one suit only, it'll cost you 240 diamonds to complete it. So that's like insanely cheap, right? The cost for the suit that you don't spend your free hearts on is pretty cheap too, coming in at a cost of 1,290 diamonds and recharges. So for both suits, you'll need 1,290 secret hearts, which costs 1,530 diamonds. Again, super inexpensive. I actually did the math about like 10 times because I couldn't believe my eyes and I, I was, I was like literally checking all my formulas and everything in my spreadsheet. But then I remembered something about why this event might be so cheap. But before we get into that, here are the highest ranking items for those of you who aren't necessarily looking for completing both suits. In addition, these are the estimated return costs. This, of course, being based on foreign servers, so it could be different when they come back to our server. So depending on how you go about it, these suits could end up costing you more if you wait. But of course, these numbers are also projected for V0 players. However, should you actually be a VIP level player, keep in mind that the items that you have to buy in store will be discounted for you. Now, the other thing to consider as to why this event is so cheap is the added allure of the time-limited Haunted Night Gotcha Pavilion. <laughs> the pavilion drops shooting doji parts 100% of the time at 100% of the cost. Well, I mean, technically the first pull is 50% off at 50 diamonds, but after that it's 100 diamonds per pull. This is the second time this pavilion has come to the game, and I know a lot of you are excited for the opportunity to get the horns at long last. I have about four or so items I need to get to complete the set myself, so I'm going to try and see if I can't do it, but knowing my luck, I'll only get duplicates. I can decompose those, which will further me along in my epic quest to get this stupid suit. Anyways, so again, while the midnight escape suits are relatively cheap, the estimate of how much it'll cost you to complete this shoot and doji set from start to finish is somewhere around the 2000 mark. It's impossible to tell though as it's completely luck based. This suit isn't the only one to make a return though. There is a myriad of recharge suits available, all of which are making a return to the game all but the artificial idol suit, which is new. You can find it in the special boutique along with the dream travel and fluffy gentleman suits. The other packs which hold the picnic accessories and elegant hibiscus and Casablanca suits are in the user shop. Just in case you're curious, if you purchase every single suit pack, it'll cost you $31.95 total. The prices range individually from $15.99 being the most expensive and $0.99 cents to be the least expensive. That's the picnic pack and I love it. You get this cute little mushroom hat. Which had I thought about it, it would have been perfect to use in my association's theme this week as we're doing garden fairies. But I used uh, some pieces from the Casablanca suit instead. So $31.95 will get you all five suits and accessories. 
but it'll also get you 1,700 diamonds, 1,760 VIP experience points, and 90 starlight coins. You know, my birthday is coming up and I already have two of the packs from the first time they came around. So it really wouldn't be 30 bucks for me and it's even trying to give me a discount for buying them, so, hmm. Ah, uh, well, time will tell if I cave or not, but that's basically everything. I hope this guide helped you out, and as always, the written guide is up in Zen Garden on Facebook and in JC's event tab in the official group. Let me know in the comments down below who you think wore it better. Please like the video, share it to your love Nikki group, and subscribe and ring the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Until next time, take care guys. I can't imagine how affected they would be as canine cops. I mean like, have you seen a corgi try to run?